So, um, today was, uh, an okay day. I didn't really do anything. I just, like, ran some errands and, you know, I did stuff. I wrote. I, whenever I say I don't do anything, I generally do something. Um, I just, uh, prefer to see the glass is half empty. Uh, we have a subway in the neighborhood and Venice is like, uh, a neighborhood that's very proud of being unique and different and having little mom and pop stores and kind of cool stores and um, also hobos. We're famous for our hobos. And, um, you know, and Quiznos has just come to town across the street from the subway and I, and I hate that Quiznos with, a, with an irrational passion. Irrational passion. I like that. That's a new band that I'm going to produce. But uh, I hate that Quiznos, you know? because I already have a crappy chain of sandwich places in my neighborhood and that crappy chain is Subway and I've already committed you know and I get my six inch tuna with you know spinach, green peppers, uh, tomatoes, cucumbers, red onions, pickles and jalapenos, salt and pepper toast the bread but uh, then sprinkle the cheese in it after it's toasted not a melt because I don't like that. And I can't get that at Quiznos. So, you know what? Tough shit, Quiznos. Because uh, Subway's here. And it owns this block and my heart. And take your business elsewhere. My big fear in life is when I go to Subway that I'll end up being the, the shorter half of the foot long. You know, when you get a six inch every time, which I generally do unless I'm really hungry. Um, then you always are afraid you'll be that short half when they cut it in half that you'll be like five and a half inches and uh, so I generally just basically live in fear of that and bears gigantic bears so one thing about noticing yourself on camera I watched what I recorded yesterday and um, the thing is that my face is crooked I only seem to talk out of the right side of my face I don't know how to fix that or if I should fix that, but it's just something that I noticed and now I can't stop thinking about it. It's like Stephen Colbert's ear, if you watch the Colbert Report, he has one that sticks out funny and one that's regular, and if you just notice it once, then you just can't look away for the entire episode, for the rest of the episode, you're just staring at that ear. And then when I stare, I mean, I'm thinking the whole time, I'm like, which is the regular ear? And I don't care, I mean, it's not gross or anything, it's just... I need to know which is the real ear. I mean the first ear. The good ear. So I didn't even call the walk a doggy place today um, because I just honestly if he was gonna say no that for some reason they can't use me to walk a doggy then I just I couldn't have handled that rejection today. I woke up today and I said no dog man is going to say no to me today and that place, you know, I kind of really want to work there because you walk in, there's like 20 dogs all at your feet, different sizes, and they're all getting along. And it's so incredible to see all these different dogs, tiny white fluffy dogs and big noble dogs and, you know, dogs that are just kind of fuzzy, but their fur is weird because they're, you know, like purebred dogs and they're really cute, like the ones with the really weird tails that are kind of long and look like feather dusters all kinds of dogs and they're just running around and they're all friends with each other and no one was snapping at each other and if fucking dogs can get along that well, 20 different kinds of dogs it's amazing that people don't do a better job that's like such a cliche thing to say but it's with dogs so it's different it's totally different if it's with dogs my roommate had was telling me that the only way to get people to watch something to begin with, because they don't know what it's going to be like, is to promise them nudity. So I came up with sexy time. And it's important to note the question mark, because I'm not promising anything. It's It could be sexy. It could not be sexy. So it's sexy time with Sophia. So that's what we've settled on for right now. But if you want me to change it, if there's anybody out there watching this, which I don't imagine there is because it's day two of this thing, but I'm open and welcome to any suggestions of uh, names for this. But, excuse me, that was my tuna sandwich. 
um, say hello. Basically, yeah, so if you have a better idea than sexy time, then you're welcome to tell me. Also, I decided that, you know, the next project I was going to do was going to involve being topless. So that's how Topless Fridays were born. So starting next Friday, I will vlog every Friday topless. I'm not saying you're going to see everything, but you might, you know. But I'm not promising. Maybe. Sort of like that. Oh yeah, and uh, P.S. If you don't like the title Sexy Time, then fuck you because I'm keeping it. As uh, Mr. Burns says, I've had one of my trademark changes of heart.